Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I have my weekend what sold video for you. We've got 13 items over on eBay, one item over on Macari for a gross profit of just over 800 bucks. So stay tuned, let me dive into what sold this weekend. Okay, so first off, thank you so much for all the birthday love. Um, I had my birthday yesterday. I record this Monday morning, so birthday was on Sunday, and it was wonderful. So thank you, everybody, who reached out and wished me a happy birthday. I am 40. I'm not accepting it, but apparently I'm 40, and I am vintage with all original parts. <laughs> I love this shirt. So, uh, yes, welcome back, and let's dive into what sold. Not a great weekend, 13 items, 800 bucks gross, not a good weekend. But I, I don't really, I, I guess I can't really figure out why. Um, one of the eBay kind of reasons I can think of is I got a lot of lowball offers. And eBay likes when you accept offers, especially when you have offers turned on. So if you're getting 10, 15 offers and you're declining all of them, they're not going to keep sending you views. That's, I don't know, maybe it's a conspiracy, but it's definitely how I see it. So if I get a lot of offers and I'm accepting all those offers, I get a lot more sales. It's just what happened. So this weekend, that was not the case. I was getting ridiculous offers. I need to change the settings. And I know I can. I can say automatically decline if it's below X percentage. Um, but I didn't really want to run my business that way. I'd rather see the offers and then counter offer. But when they're going less than 50% off of this item, some were like 80% of what I was asking. It'd be a $150 item. They sent an offer for 20 bucks. No, thank you. So I probably need to turn that to just decline less than 50% offers and not even play their game. So I think because I either countered or declined a lot of offers, eBay algorithm did not like that. So I didn't get a whole lot of sales, but that's all right. I had my priorities in other places this weekend and on to listing. I ended up, I know, even on my birthday, I still listed last night and gosh, I was a listing machine. I probably listed almost 20 items last night. So that should hopefully start picking up some sales. But let's dive in because there are definitely some bolos in here, um, items to be on the lookout. One of which, dental pods. These you may not see so much in the wild. If you do, grab it. Um, this is an Amazon bins find. Um, if you're new to my channel, Amazon bins are a liquidation center in my area. We've got a few of them all run by the same company uh, and they buy pallets of Amazon returns. So if you want to find one in your area, you can usually just search for liquidation centers um, and your nearest large city. So liquidation center Phoenix, liquidation center Tucson, Pittsburgh, wherever in the world you are, uh, look for liquidation centers, and that should find something up on eBay, on uh, Google. So, all right, Dental Pod, $15 day. These sell really fast. This one is a blue, which is more rare. Uh, white is the common one, um, but this blue one sold for $72, and I paid $15. Um, on Fridays, all of my items are $15. Uh, that's just how they price their merchandise. All right, then same, did I get that? That was last weekend, not the one that was just here, but the weekend before. This was this weekend. I just got this two days ago, listed it yesterday, um, and I know they sell really fast. This particular one is not a very high-end model, um, the 051, but they still sell crazy, crazy fast. So I paid 15, knowing I was going to have a smaller profit, but I knew it was going to sell really, really fast. Um, so in this case, I, it sold for 50 bucks, free shipping. Um, I might make 15 bucks on it, but I knew it was going to be fast. That is why I grabbed them. Somebody had asked, and if you're watching this, I'm going to answer it now as well as in the comments. They had an example of a sports hat. Um, they said that the sell-through rate was like 25%. Um, it was going to be, I think, cost of good, maybe a dollar or two. It was going to sell for maybe 30, 40 bucks. Um, would I buy it? And the short answer is no. 25% uh, sell-through rate, I don't want to store it. So his logic was that if you multiply it by a year, you have a 100% chance of it selling in a year because your 90-day totals, the percentage of that 25% of how many sold, that's a 90-day snapshot. So if you're figuring if it's a 25% chance of selling in, in one quarter in three months, 
What's the chances in a year? Simple math, 4X, 100%. All right, are you following me? So in one year, there is a chance that this item will sell. If I'm priced right, for one, um, and nobody undercuts you in the price in the matter of a year, um, there's not some influx of this hat over the next 12 months that there's a lot of them on there and it becomes saturated. There's a lot of variables when you're looking at long-term items. Not my game. So I will save that for you. For someone who does want to sit on it for up to a year to sell and maybe make 30, 40 bucks on it. 100%. That is somebody's business model. Go for it. I have very limited space. And I want to buy items that numbers tell me will sell within... 60 days. That is my goal. I want it out of my store within 30 to 60 days. Is it always flawless? No. I have over a thousand items in my store, so it's definitely not perfect, but numbers tell me that it should be a fast seller, and whether I didn't price it right, or it became oversaturated, or it became out of style, there could be a zillion reasons why it's still on my shelf, but when I first comp an item, I want to make sure that it is proven to be a hot item. Uh, so, sorry, I went off topic there, but I wanted to answer that because I know this one is a smaller margin because I'm always saying, like, you want to buy items that, of course, you're going to make decent money, and if I'm buying it for 15 I don't want to sell it for $40, $50. Bucks. This is that exception. I will sell it for $40, $50 when it sells ridiculously fast. Okay, sorry, we're only on item number two, and I'm already getting chatty. So, let's go to item number three. That is a Hunter ceiling fan remote this was a garage or estate sale find three dollars is what i paid for it and it is complete it's got the little hunter fan it's got the little module that goes up in the fan it's little brains up there and i've only had this maybe a couple months hot item again basing it on sell through rate and it sold for 35 dollars. happy to get that out because it's nice and small i love the small items um, we've got a Bosch multi-tool. I was trying to remember when I got this. I know it was a bins find. Um, it had to be $15 day because tools are usually only there on the big, um, big day, the $15 day. After that, tools go crazy fast. So it's a multi-tool by Bosch. Um, paid $15, sold for $50. Again, it's a quick item. I've only had it for a couple weeks um, and they paid shipping on it. So 50 plus shipping is still a decent margin for a fast seller. Speaking of fast sellers, this guy right here sold within a week. One week I had this item. I picked it up on $3 day at my local bins and it is brand new sealed version of Quicken 2017. People are getting audited, and I believe audits go back 10 years. So if you have to go back and redo your taxes for 10 years, you're looking for old accounting software. Um, and maybe you just like this version of Quicken, and maybe it's not for your taxes, but you just like this version, and you've got a new computer, and you need to find this version again, because they all change their how they run it. If you get Windows 10 or versus Windows 8, you have a preference on which one you like. I don't like Windows 10. I want to make sure I still have Windows 8. So when I get a new computer, I want to put the older version on there. Examples like that. Why old software still sells. I paid $3, sold for 150 bucks. This was probably my best item of the day. $150 for software. Love, love. Um, we've got a Panasonic. Um, I'll have to take it out of this bag because it still has a $3 sticker on it. Uh, did I reuse this bag or did I pay $3? No, I paid $5. So I just reused this bag. Um, it is a voice recorder. These are um, just an awesome little bolo. Sony makes them. Panasonic makes them. Um, these little voice recorders. People usually put them up for a dollar or two at yard sales. And they sell all day long. So this guy sold for 50 bucks. He has a bunch of extra little tapes. He is tested and he works. Um, I had someone message me on this asking how the voice quality was. I think he was just going to be picky no matter what. So he wanted to know if somebody was across the room, how clear their voice would be. Like This stuff is from like early 90s. It's not going to be your high definition, amazing sound quality recorder. So 
I was honest. I said, no, it, it's poor quality when the person is across the room. So they didn't buy it. I kept it listed and somebody else bought it. Hopefully they're not as picky on picking up sound across the room with 20, 30 year old technology. Just saying. So, all right. 40 bucks is what that sold for. Definite bolo. Um, I keep mentioning Bolo. Down in the description, I have a free Bolo list that I've compiled of top brands, top items to source for your eBay business. Grab that down below. It is yours for free. All right. We've got a Canon. Is it Canon? Um, we've got a lens. My spreadsheet said I paid $40. There's no way I paid $40 for one lens. So it must have been in a lot of other cameras and other camera stuff that I paid the 40. I really don't think I would pay 40 bucks for this. If I did, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I am missing, no I'm not, there it is. Little booklet that went with it. Um, it's an, a Nikon lens, and I don't know what else to say about it. It came with its case, good condition. Um, sold for $67. I love old camera gear. I picked up two bags a couple weeks ago five dollars each and they both had old 35 millimeter cameras in it that was amazing and then this last weekend i just picked up a box of um, cameras i paid i think i paid ninety dollars for this bucket of cameras uh, but there was probably five hundred dollars worth of gear in there so love finding old cameras definitely add that to your bolo list and just the lenses too all right we've got a camelback this one is, I want to say a thrift, my local thrift find. Um, what did I pay for this guy? Camelback Blue, $3 at my local thrift. Um, it was actually really, really clean. It's in good condition. Um, no bladder, so you would need... Oh, wait, that one says with bladder. All right, hubby. I might have one that's like this, because that says with the bladder. Let me see if I goofed up my listing. We are live, my friends, and... I goofed up my listing. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, I'm going to message this person. Make sure that, because the title says with bladder, but then the description, did I put anything down here? No bladder. Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer. So I will definitely message them. Make sure they saw in the description and in the pictures that there's no bladder. But then the title, I said with bladder. There is no bladder. I just like to say the word bladder. Um, but sold for 30 bucks. We'll see if he ends up canceling. Okay, we've got a... What do we got down here? All right, this is a Bev Black & Decker. Black & Decker Liquor Dispenser. So this is by Black & Decker, hence. Um, but it's a way to make drinks. And my local thrift actually on... Friday? No, I don't think I went on Friday. Thursday had the actual machine, but they priced it at 200 bucks, so I left it. Um, this is just the glasses that go with it. It's a fancy um, adult beverage maker, kind of like a Keurig, but with tequila. That sounds fun. So these were eight. No, what did I pay for that? Uh, yeah, $8 day at my local bins, and it sold for... 50 bucks. That was a good find. Free shipping, but that's all right. I paid $8. Uh, we've got a thermostat. This one was the one on Thursday's video. There's no, maybe Friday's video that I picked up on Thursday. It was in a box and I did not look inside the box. I saw that it was a, thermo a, a, a thermostat, but it was not the one that was on the box. Um, yeah. Epic fail. It happens. So it's still sold. I paid $3 at that estate. Still sold for 20 bucks. I'm still happy with it. I think it would have been 30 if it was the one on the box. 20 for a different one that was in there. So it was still a win. I'm happy. Um, We've got a bins find safety alert mini propane alarm for your RV. That's kind of cool. I guess if your propane pink propane tank is leaking you want to know before your your rv blows up kind of a good thing so this guy i picked up on five dollar day in my local bins and it sold for 30 bucks 
and it's going to be super easy to ship. Throw it in a poly mailer. Off it goes. Um, this guy. $5 bins find. This is a neck flex brace. Um, so it's part of a neck workout system. Um, I guess you put it on your head and you can lift weights with your head. I don't recommend it for me. I'm not going to try it on for you, but <laughs> it's just the harness. So you would have to clip on your weights to do what you want to do with it. Um, I was getting so many offers on this thing. So finally, I took an offer of $40 and again, it's going to be a super easy shipper. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. A neck flex. Cool. And last but not least, no, I got two. I've got one more eBay. And that goes to you, uh, DeWalt, uh, blade, brand new, $15 day, sold for 50 bucks. But again, super easy to ship. Poly bag, off it goes. It's already in its plastic. There's nothing that can happen to it. It's metal. So I don't have to pack it all bubbles or any of that. So that guy sold for 50 bucks. And again, it was a fast flip. Um, and I think I was desperate that day too. I don't know. Okay, and then the one item that sold over on Macari, and that is strictly because I have not been cross-listing like I should be. I know, that's me. So if I cross-list more, I know I will get more sales. It's just doing it. It is just doing it. All right, we've got a color reader. So you get to put this against your wall, and it tells you what color your paint is. Definitely a flawed system, because there's actually apps for that, where you could take a picture, and it'll tell you what color it is. But what it does not take into effect is fading and how old that paint is. Like if I took a picture of this, this house is seven years old. So the paint is going to be a little bit lighter because it's seven years old. So it's a flawed system. But I guess if you want to find the name of it, this would still do it for you. And it sold for 30 bucks. I accepted an offer. So this was either $1 or $3 a day at the bins. And yeah, I'm happy. 30 bucks. Get that on its way. All right, you guys. So $800 weekend, not my best, not my worst, uh, but it was still a wonderful, fun birthday weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching. Down in the description, as well as that bolo list, if you haven't already grabbed it, I also have my new desert dashboard. It is your all-in-one reseller tool to keep track of all your inventory and all of your deductions, miles, all in one sheet. It is a Google sheet that is just a one-time purchase and it is yours to keep. I've got a link to that down in the description. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the love and support watching this channel grow. Hit the thumbs up. Tell the YouTube algorithm that you like watching me. I will see you on the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye.